Somebody shout hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. Do you have a very big God? He is bigger than the biggest. Praise the Lord. There is this song that the late Archbishop Benson Dahosa. He he loves it so much. Those of us that were privileged to sit under his teaching those days. You know, he was a great man of faith. Even to the plate number on his vehicle, his plate number was faith one. Praise the Lord. And so he loves this song. I have a very big God who, who is always by my side. A very big God. By my side, by my side. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Listen, we are in the house of God. That is, I'm happy that Pastor Isaac put it right that this place and this community is God's community. We are appointed to serve. And when our time expires, God will appoint somebody else. Yes. Now, if you are God, is not very big God. As we praise him, please stay glued to your chair so that we know that you have a small God. But, by the way, we had an issue with our power. The, I understand one of the few cuts, so that's why all the air conditioners, all of them are not working, but they told me they are working on it. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. That's why I told you, gospelology is better than technology. Yes. Amen. Amen. So if your God is very small, when we get into dancing, just this one song for my God and you are only small amen. amen stay where you are but if you serve a big God like I know him don't let your chair limit you are you hearing me because winners make noise losers keep quiet is that okay? Yes, Worship him. Just one. Just one. Don't tempt me to do. Yeah. Ju ju I just a one. Very big God, oh. It's always by my side. A very big God. Oh. By my side. By my side. I have a very big God. Oh. It's always by my side. A very big God. Oh. By my side. By my side. Oh, I have a very big God. Oh. Oh, I have 
Shout hallelujah, somebody! Shout hallelujah, somebody! Say, Jesus is my Lord. Jesus is Lord over all. If you believe that, shout amen. Shout amen. So shall it be in your life. So shall it be in your life. So shall it be in your life. In Jesus' precious name. Amen. It is important for you to understand that it is a blessed people that praises. My, my daughter looked at me one day and said, Daddy, you dance, rich man dance. I didn't know there's a rich man dance. I said, what do you mean? She said, you always, ah, praise the Lord. I meditated upon it too. Beyond rich man dance, there is also rich man talk. Are you hearing me? There is also rich man dream. Amen. When they reach dream, aircraft, in a yacht, Rolls Royce. Praise the Lord. <laughs> Because what you are is what you are. When the poor man dream, cow was pursuing them. <laughs> or masquerade. <laughs> Praise the Lord. And, and I ran, and I ran, and I ran. And I suddenly woke up. Yeah, thank God, thank God, thank God. Thank God it was a dream. Thank God it's not. Thank God, thank God. If the rich man wakes up, in, he dreamt he was in a private jet. He said, Lord, I want to go back to the dream. I want you to become a reality. A poor man said, Lord, I don't want to see it again. 
Praise the Lord. Why life is spiritual? What you are in the spirit is what you will see in your dream. It's what you will see in physical. Praise the Lord. Because your dream is just an overflow of your spirituality. Did you hear what I just said? A dream is an overflow of your spirituality. It pours out. Praise the Lord. And so when I saw all of you dancing like rich people, I am comforted. Because you will be it. Have you noticed there are some people that they will dance, they will do acrobat, they will jump up, they will land, they will roll. After service, they say, please, I'm looking for transport money. <laughs> Hallelujah. Shouting does not get away a bigger hearing. What you say in a nice way, if you know who you are, it will still come to pass. Praise the Lord. I want to welcome you to this wonderful, beautiful, glorious communion service today. And it's just going to be glorious all the way. All the way. Praise the Lord. Please take your seat. I will try to be brief because of the multiplicity of things we need to do. Amen. So, like I said, I will try to be brief, but not too brief. Amen. And if I'm too brief, I will make up for it next Sunday by the grace of God. Amen. Amen. Today, I want to sh share very, very briefly on the benefits of submission. Amen. Amen. Many of us, when we hear about submission, we only look at we only look at it that it is humiliating, it is humbling experience. But there is, there is an aspect of submission that devil does not want you to know. Because if you will know it, it will change your life. Just like tithing and offering and giving to the Lord, the blessings in giving not only to God, but to people. The blessings in giving. The devil does not want you to know it. Because the moment you understand the benefit, the benefit in giving, you will overcome poverty. No giver ever becomes poor. Take it from me. No giver becomes poor. Amen? Amen. And no one, no one under submission comes to poverty. No one. Even from the scriptures. No one that comes under submission. What is submission? Submission is yielding. You yield yourself to another person's authority. You bring yourself under the authority and leadership of someone else. That is what submission is. You submit your will. You submit your body. You submit your personality to that authority. And unfortunately, the devil tried to show you that to be under authority is to reduce yourself to a slave. We were in South Africa to have a program with Pastor Chris. And it was a major program. And then, um, of course, I was in charge of the sound system for Pastor. Then the sound engineer we met in South Africa, he told me a story. He said, when the church began, 